Hello, welcome to C'est La Vie Tarot here. Let's see what's going on with you and the person that may be on your mind at this time. Um, for those that are returning, welcome. I love you, of course. And those that are new to my channel, welcome. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on here, guys. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, all of my information is below, okay, where we can go in depth in terms of intentions, um, what your person may be thinking okay and things of that nature okay so let's see what's going on with the person that you're thinking about let's just get let's just get a vibe check let's just get an energy check at this time so we have there is still hope here okay so someone is definitely feeling like there's still hope there's secrets here okay for a lot of you there may just be secret emotions uh silent secret emotions to some extent here where someone may not be speaking or if you feel like this person's keeping secrets from you all right but i feel like this is an energy of we can't work through this unless you say something that makes me feel like i'm either safe or you speak up and tell me how you feel, okay? So I feel like someone here has uh, definitely been through it to some extent, right? I've definitely gone through the, the ringer here in relationships or even in this situation to some extent. But it's like now I just want the truth here, okay? I just want the truth about why this person came into my life. I just want the truth about why this person's still on my mind here, okay? Because I see someone here being on someone's mind very heavily. It's like I keep on thinking about you and I'm wondering if you're also thinking about me, okay? But I feel like someone here doesn't want to be vulnerable, all right? I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't feel like reaching out is possibly best for me. I just have a lot on my mind. Whenever I look at this, I get just this, this like Pisces, Scorpio energy here for me, okay? Cancer as well. It, it's it's just like, you know, I'm going to be very quiet, high priestess energy and not really say anything. It doesn't have to be. This could just be placements in your chart, but we all have these energies within us. Okay, but again, there's still hope here. And I feel like this person feels as if there's possibly has been a lot of damage here, right? Again, like I say, someone here felt like they lost um they lost in this game called love many, many times, right? And now I feel like someone here is wondering, is this over for me? I found this new person. Is this is this person the one now? Right? Right when I thought it was over, someone else came through. Or um, now when I think it's over between this person, this person contacting me or this person's constantly popping up in my head on a regular basis. Okay, let's see what else is going on at this time between you and this person that may be on your mind. Okay, so insomnia on my mind, right? I'm constantly thinking about this person and we have stalemate. So we have an energy of stalemate here, possibly not saying anything. Um, I'm not really saying anything. I'm just thinking about you. And it's interesting, whoever you're connecting with, I get this energy of this person possibly being uh, very non-expressive. They're not really expressing themselves. They're not saying anything, um, but it's like you... We're both thinking about each other, okay? I'm thinking, to, you know, I'm hoping and wishing that at some moment this silence will be broken here and we could have some sort of heart-to-heart -heart or some sort of conversation at some point here, okay? What else do we have here for my viewers and this person that they're connecting with here? It's, I'm just getting so much here. There's someone here that you also may be connecting with that may be in this place of fear, Okay? It's like I keep on thinking about you all the time, but I'm not going to say anything. I keep thinking about how I was possibly hurt, but I'm not going to say anything. But I feel like with this energy, our song, someone here is ready to complete some sort of cycle and move on, move forward in their life and open up new chapters. I'm ready for that. Okay. Although, yes, the past has been daunting at times, but I'm ready for a new beginning. All right. For some of you, it's like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm stepping out. I'm contacting people. I'm uh, going out. I'm doing a lot of things that are putting me in a very positive vibe, right? Although I do still think about this person. If you separated with someone, this person is thinking about you, hoping that you would break this cycle of the silent cycle. Okay. Okay. For a lot of you, there may be some sort of contact coming in from this person. Okay. For some of you, there's a lot of people thinking about you actually. I'll be surprised. Okay. Can I have another one, please? And we have reunion. 
okay so there may be some reunion coming in here with someone stepping into this energy of i am lost without you okay i know i've been silent i know i haven't contacted you but i feel like you are the one here we also have messages coming in here very deeply all right whoever this person is here this is someone here that felt like they connected with you extremely deeply extremely deeply here okay and for others of you I found the one, but I feel like this person's not letting me in to some extent. There's something going on with this person and they're not completely allowing me to enter their matrix, their mind, their soul here. However, I, I feel them telepathically. There's someone here that you may be feeling on a telepathic level, okay? Someone you possibly walked away from and started something new and this person's wanting to come back in for some of you here. We have messages coming in. Someone here may be very flirtatious as they message you, but again, we have messages coming in here and you're like, what does this person want exactly, okay? Or why hasn't this person messaged me if they feel like I am the one here? Someone here is waiting for someone here to speak their truth. Like, tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you feel for us, what you feel about this connection here. And I feel like that's one of, you know, the dilemmas to some extent, right? Yeah. Someone here is shutting out a past person completely, okay? And now wanting to move on. And I feel like now this past person is wanting to communicate with you, wanting to reconnect with you. Someone here hasn't lost all hope, okay? This is someone here that possibly in the past, they were guarded. Um, they just didn't know how to treat the energy of love. They didn't know how to um, appreciate the energy of love. And now we have this reunion wanting to happen here, okay? So definitely look out for those energies, all right? And choose accordingly, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Okay, what is this person thinking about my viewers? When this person thinks about my viewers, what are they thinking? Okay, we're going to do a past person and we're going to do the new person. What is this past person feeling for my viewers? Past person wanting to communicate with you. Okay, whoever you're connecting with in the past here, um, I feel like they want to come in and approach you. I want to say something to you. I want to move forward. I want to test the waters, right? But I feel like there's some of you that may be in this energy where you're, you know, wondering why is this person wanting to come into my um, space or why do they want to communicate with me? I feel like this is someone here that wants to see how you still feel about them. They want to, um, for some of you, there's an apology that needs to happen for something that took place here, okay? But I do see this person wanting to say something to you. This could be someone here trying to find some sort of balanced place or a balanced time or a balanced energy. Um, I do see them sort of resisting going back and forth in their mind, uh, whether they should reach out or say something or not. But I do see this person finally opening up and saying something after thinking about you for a very long time, right? I keep thinking about you and I'm wondering, have you started something new, right? Do you miss me? I know I messed up, but I can't get you out of my mind, okay? This new person, please bring in that new person's energy. How is this new person feeling about my viewers? Okay, if you're connecting with a new person here, this is someone here that truly has to make a decision. Could be a decision between two people or a decision just to move forward for some of you. And this could be you. If you're connecting with someone new, you're still wondering, is that past person going to contact me? Is this past person going to say something? And before they do, I'm going to wait. So you, if you're connecting with a new person, there may be someone in their past here that they're still holding on to. And I feel like this person's ready to move on. Fire sign energy, also water energy as well here, okay? I do see someone here creating boundaries. Someone here is afraid of drama. I feel like there's someone here that's saying, I don't want to deal with the drama any longer. And this is putting you in this energy of, I'm going to protect my space, right? I'm gonna protect my space. So I do see someone here also learning um, this energy of boundaries here. Okay, whoever you're not speaking with, I feel like this person feels like you're putting up a front, all right? I feel like this person feels like you are waiting and wondering if they're going to reach out. We have the seven of swords here. So if you are creating these boundaries, I feel like this person is in this place where they're like, eh, 
you know, I don't know how serious, um, you know, you are. I'm not too sure if you are serious. Uh, this person could be viewing you as someone that's closed off. You may have blocked this person or you may not be talking to this person any longer. I feel like it's an act to some extent. All right. If this person's not contacting you or this person's coming off like they don't care. And again, this could be you. But I feel like there is this fronting energy right? Where I'm sabotaging myself, right? This is someone that constantly put this relationship on hold. Okay. We have Pisces energy, Virgo energy here. Aquarius as well. I'm putting this on hold. Now there's someone here. I feel like they're not doing anything. They're trying to buy time. They're, they're waiting for something or they feel like they're in a comfort zone or they feel like they're in a situation with you or with someone else that they are not ready to come out with and come out of. And due to that, they're being very deceptive. I'm not ready for a relationship, so I'm not going to contact you or I'm not ready to have that conversation, so I won't contact you. I'm not ready to start a new relationship because I'm scared, so I'm going to, you know, go weeks without saying anything, right? There's this holding energy. There's something about a hold here that's deceptive where they're coming off as if they don't care, but it's not that. I, I, it's it's just more so, I feel like this person, let's see what we have here. Yeah, this person's putting a hold on love. Like, I feel this deep connection with you strongly, intensely, and I know what we have. I know what we had for some of you, those that walked away, but for some reason, I'm being deceptive and I'm being guarded, I'm being closed off, etc. Okay? etc etc and for some of you you're kind of tired of this person's games in terms of them not really expressing their true desires and i feel like that is one of the things that you're you're now creating these boundaries with right i have to create these boundaries with this individual i wish they were real with themselves someone here is just not being real with themselves with the stalemate energy it is a front it could be coming from you or it's coming from them, but it's coming from um, an energy here that at some point felt like I found my person, okay? But for some reason now, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Gemini energy here. It's interesting because this person comes back in full force, checking your temperature, checking to see how you feel about them, wondering if you still care, okay? Give me something about this reunion energy here. For some of you, there may be some sort of proposal, okay? Leo energy, okay? I feel like some of you may be in this place as well where you are leaving a connection or someone that you're connecting with is leaving a connection and there's someone in their, ba in their background that's being deceptive here, trying to see if they could get their attention. Okay, that's for some of you. All right, what do we have for this reunion energy? What do we have for this reunion energy? I'm telling you, like it's, the thing is like when it comes to love, the sun at the bottom of the deck, a lot of you, before I start that, my rant, a lot of you are going to connect with a person that you have a strong connection with wait for it, right? A very, very powerful connection with, strong connection, loving. Whatever this conversation that you are going to have with this person is going to feel so deep, so strong, okay? There's something about someone here that you're connecting with and it is divinely guided um, and it brings in a lot of joy for you, a lot of happiness, okay? Whatever that may be for you, okay? Where, you know, we are now... Um, wow. We are now connecting. And I feel like one of the things I feel like is happening too is if you may have manifested this person, okay, where I, I planted my seeds and I was ready for this person and here this person goes, okay? And for some of you, again, this may be someone from your past or this may be a new person. Just take it how it resonates, you know. We all have different stories, okay? But at the end, we all move into that energy of love. OK, but I do see someone here manifesting happiness, manifesting true love, manifesting clarity in a situation. And this clarity brings in this union. It brings in this connection. OK, it brings in this commitment energy where we're going to commit with each other. We're going to love each other. OK, so I do have the sun here. I mean, it's these are just amazing energies. Just amazing. Just amazing. OK, we're just going to pull one more, please. What is the advice here? What is the advice? Wow, Ten of Cups. What is going on in America or whatever country you're in right now? Lord, Ten of Cups. 
Always move towards the energy of love, okay? When love calls, go to love, okay? Always search for the higher levels of love, always, throughout any situation, any dark situation, any situation that doesn't have any clarity, remember love is the golden path. Love is the path, okay? But back to this here, who is this person that you guys are connecting with? And if you don't see it yet, you know, this may not be your story, but for those that are connecting with someone or will be connecting, because this is future energy here, okay, obviously, but this is beautiful. This is love. This is commitment. This is openness, transparency, all that good stuff, okay? Take that how that resonates. I see a lot of you also moving towards a career that you're very happy about as well, okay? Let's get some messages. Uh -huh. Let's get some messages. I love this energy. This energy is very beautiful, right? I'll take that. I don't know what that was. So we have Medicine Woman. All right, we have Medicine Woman. It says that you are a channel for divine healing and power. I'm able to manifest anything. Okay, some of you are healers. Some of you are in this place of just being one with the one. Okay, and we have the arts here. Express yourself through creative activities. All right, for those that are in this energy of, you know, I don't want to reach out to someone or I don't want to speak to someone, you know, find what makes you happy. Find happiness in your moments of solitude. Okay, one more, please. All right, we got two more, but we'll take it anyways. What do we have here? We have hostilities and angel of strength. So someone feels like you may be a bit closed off, a bit guarded here. Okay. But I feel like someone get, gains the strength to say something to you. In the past, this person, again, they were a bit guarded. But now someone here is coming in with this energy of strength. Okay. I have the strength to open up. I have the strength now to move towards love. In the past here. I was always trying to protect myself, but I feel like someone gains the strength to communicate, to reach out, to speak with you. I love you. I will talk to you soon. If this resonates, of course, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, everything's below. I love you. Have a beautiful one.